busy Sunday for Springfield police. Officers found the SUV that was stolen by a man armed with a gun near an elementary school on Friday. They're still looking for the man who did it, and now they think he could be connected to other crimes. KY3's Dustin Hodges is in our newsroom with the latest. It was a wild afternoon involving that carjacking suspect, the SUV, and multiple crime scenes. This is how it all began. It all started on Friday when a man carjacked a woman at gunpoint at Wilder Elementary. Since then, police have been determined to bring the suspect to justice. It could happen anywhere, and this is a reminder of that. A car matching that description ran from police again Sunday morning, used as the getaway car after a robbery in the Macy's parking lot of the Battlefield Mall. A short while later, police spotted the Chevy Equinox, and the driver led them on a chase through several neighborhoods before he got away. And then when me and my uh, fiance walked out, they stormed off. Matt Thompson and his fiance were at home when they saw a similar car trying to park in an unusual place. It looked like he was trying to park near over there, like hide the vehicle. They pulled in over here. You see the tire marks and tracks. If you look closely here, you can still see fresh tracks left by the SUV when it sped off. Neighbors here say the suspect tried to park it in this spot in between the two houses, and when he drove off, he hit this neighbor's satellite dish and this neighbor's truck. As soon as we got here, the car drove out from the back of the house, hit the side of my truck, hit the neighbor's dish there sped off and went north on park. The search for the SUV ended at a nearby apartment complex. Officers spotted a dent in the front of the SUV that matched the one on Matt's truck, but the driver was nowhere in sight. If you have any information that will help police catch the person who abandoned that SUV at the Forest Park Apartments, you're asked to contact the Springfield Police Department. In the newsroom, Dustin Hodges, KY3 News. An 80-year-old woman from Pulaski County